put your word. Psalms 40. I wait patiently for the Lord. This is David talking here. The king now, I mean, he, 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 we're talking about a king to be a king, uh, uh, I mean a big, great king, became a great king. The man who after God's own heart, he waited patient on the Lord. We need to wait patiently on the Lord and stop being anxious about everything. Want, want it right then like a microwave. We need to wait patiently on the Lord like David. Amen. And he inclined unto me mm, 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 and heard my cry. When you wait patiently on the Lord. And, 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 oh, and God will listen to you when you wait patiently for him. When you're in your closet or wherever you like to pray, wherever you like to read your word and spend time with God alone. You need to spend time alone with God. And when you spend time alone with God, God will spend some time with you. And he's going to say right here, incline unto me and heard my cry. God will listen when you, when you learn how to be patient. When you learn how to get along with him and read your word, when you learn how to meditate on his word day and night and get along with him, God will listen to your prayer. God will answer your prayer as you wait patiently for him according to his will, not your will. Some people want it right now, but I'm going to tell you, God said, I I'll make sure you get what you need when you need it. Amen. It says in, in number two, the second verse in 40 and two, he brought me up also out of the harbor pit. See, see David was in a horrible pit. David went through something in life. David suffered. And we're going to suffer too as Christians. But you know what? If we just wait patiently on the Lord. And, 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 and let the Lord know what on our hearts. When we wait patiently on the Lord, he will deliver us from a horrible pit. He will deliver you from every sin and every weight that's so easily to beset you. And you can run the race with patience and endurance. When you wait on the Lord and be patient. And when you praise him and worship him while you're waiting on him, while you're waiting on him, you just worship in spirit and in truth. As you wait on him, you read your word and meditate on day and night. God will incline his ears and hear your prayer. If your prayer hasn't been answered yet, wait patiently on the Lord. Oh, he's near. Hallelujah. And he's listening to your cry. Out of a day, it says, pray. It says, and set my feet upon a rock and establish my goings. I come to tell you that God will set your, your he will set your feet on, on, on a rock when you learn how to wait patiently on him. Some people have no patience. They want it right now, their way or the highway. Oh, they, they want it their way, like, like Burger King. They want it their way. But I come to tell you, but if you wait patiently on the Lord and go in your closet and pray to the Lord, say, Lord, you see what I'm going through. You see people lying on me. You see people persecuting me. You see people are using me and taking advantage of my goodness. Lord, you see what they're doing to me, Lord, but I'm going to give it to you, God. I'm going to cast my care upon you, God, because you care for me. And when you learn how to cast your care upon the Lord, he will take care of every need in your life. And I'm a living witness because I've been through something in my lifetime. I came through welfare, food stamps. Sir. I was raised poor. And we stayed out this long dirt road. And I'm going to tell you something. I ain't seen a highway in, in weeks. I'm coming to tell you I've been through something in my life. I can tell you I, 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 about a horrible pit I was in. But God delivered me. Hallelujah. I say when I learned how to trust God. When I learned how to live for him. He brought me out of that horrible pit. He bought me out of poverty because we was very poor. We was on welfare, food stuff, and everything you can get. Hallelujah. But thank God he delivered me. He, he'll deliver you too if you trust him. Whatever you're going through in life right now, you feel like nobody loves you. You feel like uh, uh, God has forsaken you. I come to tell you, wait patiently on the Lord. And he will incline his ear. And he will hear your cry. And he will bless you spiritually. Physically and financially. And I'm a living witness, sir. I come to tell you, when you wait on the Lord, he will renew your strength. Ah, yes, he will. He'll renew your strength if you just wait on him. Stop being so anxious. I want it now. I want it now. I want to be rich now. I want everything now. But you wait on the Lord and be patient. God will meet every need in your life. According to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. And so he said on the third verse, and he had... He had put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto God. When you learn how to wait patiently on the Lord, God will put a new praise in your mouth. You begin to worship him in spirit and in truth. When God, I'm telling you, when you wait patiently on the Lord, it's all about being patient, waiting on the Lord, praying to God, letting God know what you're going through. He already knows everything, but he just wants you to come to him boldly and say, Lord, I need you. 
I need you every minute, every hour, every second. God, I need you, God, to help me make it through this life. And God will give you the grace to make it through this life. Amen? It says here, and go down a little farther in his word. It says here, many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Many shall see it when you wait patient on the Lord. Oh, when you wait patient on the Lord, God will begin to reveal himself to you. He began to talk to you in the midnight hour. He began to talk to you through, through his word. He'll send a prophet or somebody your way to talk to you and minister to you. When you wait patiently on the Lord, God will bless you like you've never been blessed before. Because I'm a living witness. When I wait patient on the Lord, God delivered me out of all that mess I was in. When I wait patient on the Lord, God met every need in my life. Food, clothes, and a roof over my head. And when, when you wait patient on the Lord, God will meet every need. Whatever thing, everything you're fighting right now, whatever you're going through right now, I want to let you know Jesus loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. Oh, he loves you more than you love yourself. If you just trust him with your life. Once you trust, give your life to Jesus, everything is going to be all right. I, I come to tell you, everything is going to be all right when you put your trust in him and wait patiently on him. It's a blessing. It's the man that makes the Lord his trust. When you put your trust in the Lord, oh, he, you're going to be blessed. Oh, the Bible said, blessed is the man that makes it the Lord his trust. When you make the Lord your trust, I, I come to tell you, oh, he's going to bless you. He's going to bless you going out and coming in. God is going to bless you. And the word is true. Hallelujah. What the word say is true. If you believe the word, trust God. And I promise you, wait patiently on him. Oh, just wait patiently on him and trust him. Oh, even, uh, David trusted the Lord and, and respected not the proud, nor, not, nor such as turn aside to lie. Many, O oh Lord, my God. Listen to this. Many, O oh Lord, my God. And they wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are <coughs> to us. <coughs> what is he saying here? God is saying that when you learn how to wait patiently on me, when you learn how to trust me, God said, I'll bless you. God said, you will see my wonderful works in your life. God, you, God said, you will see things move that you thought would never be, able to be moved. That your enemies become your footstool. God said, when you wait patiently on me and trust me, I promise you I'll fight your battle if you hold your peace. Amen. But you gotta hold your peace. <clears throat> Some people want to fight their own battle and they get in a whole lot of trouble. But if you trust the Lord and let the Lord fight your battle, everything will be all right. Oh, you might be going through some sickness in your body. You might be going through some pain in your body. But trust the Lord. Wait patiently on him. I mean, pray, read your word, and meditate on the scripture about healing. As you meditate on God's word about healing, your faith begins to grow. And as you begin to speak God's word, it begins begin life becoming your body. God begins to heal. Deliver, or he'll send someone to heal you. Can I get a witness up in here? I'm telling you, when you put your trust in the Lord and wait patiently on him, God will bless you. That's what, that's, that's what David says here. And, I, and listen to this right here. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they say they are more than can be made. I'm telling you, when you wait patiently on the Lord and trust him and he'll bless you, and, and, and God said, I got angels. I got angels watching over you. God said, I got ministering angels ministering to you. If you just wait patiently on the Lord, I'll find you a place in your house, find a place in your home, and wait patiently on the Lord, said the Lord. God told me to tell you that tonight. Uh, today, God told me to tell you, wait <coughs> patiently on him, and watch the things I would do in your life. That's what God said. I preach righteousness in great congregations. Oh, I've come to tell you, when you trust in the Lord, with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And he will direct your path. I come to tell you I'm a living witness. I have been through some things in my life. Some things I don't even talk about. But I come to tell you to trust God. Wait patiently on him. He will bless you. And he'll keep you. And I love you with the love of Jesus. Keep your mind on Jesus. And those who keep their mind on him will stay in what? Perfect, Perfect peace. I love you with the love of Jesus. Growing together and ministry on the Bishop David Ray Lisa Ray. We love you. Lewiston Woodby of North Carolina. Be blessed. And I'll see you next time. Be blessed.